Hello everyone this is Mukul I hope everyone is doing well The topic for today is Gitpod Gitpod is a cloud development environment that spins up fresh automated dev environments for each task in the cloud within seconds You can start environment directly from your browser or your desktop ID The trend towards cloud development environment has increased due to several key factors First the growing popularity of cloud native services and the increasing adoption of cloud computing has made it easier for developers to access their development environment from anywhere with an internet connection cloud based remote development offers increased accessibility better team collaboration and easy scaling of resources with cloud resources developer can build deploy and run apps without expensive hardware if you are starting for the first time with gitpod i recommend watching the official documentation along with screencast This is going to help you a lot. When it comes to pricing, uh, you can definitely check out the starter edition, which gives you almost like five hundred credits per month and almost like fifty hours per month. You can run the compute. Also, th- you can run four parallel workspace. Along with that, you can connect your public and private repos, multi ID support, GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket. So this is quite cool. So it's I would suggest that you definitely should try out with the free version and once you reach the limit or something then you can try to explore more into the organization or enterprise based upon your workload Now I will go ahead and try to log in using my GitHub account I am going to open a tool called Gateway which is basically developed by JetBrains Gateway is a compact desktop app that allows you to work remotely with JetBrains ID without even downloading one. So basically the benefit is like you can host your source code, the ID backend on a remote server and use a very local thin client based on the IntelliJ platform to write, navigate, refactor, run, debug and also test your project. The experience is like working with locally hosted project and locally installed JetBrains ID. So the experience is seamless. as you can see on the screen you are get, getting multiple flavors to connect with like ssh connection jetbrains space which is a complete software development platform you can use wsl you can use gitpod you can use amazon code catalyst as well i will go ahead and try to connect with gitpod since it's authenticated so i'm going to choose pycharm as my id and pick up a sample python django project created by the gitpod team So the workspace is getting created. Okay, I'm now now going to open with JetBrains Gateway. cool so the django's uh welcome page has been arrived and uh, yeah uh, our workspace has been set up successfully so this is the remote id which is running in a remote server entirely it's not running on my machine so yeah this is the number of like four cores 8 gb of ram and 30 gb of space what's the latency of request how much time it's taking up so it's entirely based upon your internet speed gitpod.yaml file this is basically file which instruct gitpod how to prepare and build a project like starting development servers configuring pre builds so i will definitely share the link uh, where you can go and check uh, what are the more customization you can do in this yaml file Next I'm going to go create a super user in Django admin and try to log in in the Django admin and see whether I'm able to successfully log in or not. 
I also need to make sure in the settings.py file, I need to give the trusted origin for the gitpod.io. Otherwise, I might receive request forgery errors. So I need to whitelist the gitpod.io URL. So our Django admin is completely working fine. Uh, that's pretty nice. So what I'm going to do now that I will create a Django app called student. So basically which contains the information of student, uh, their name and age and, and also I will be doing some rest operation. Um, so basically I'll be using Django rest framework and I will try to uh, complete the entire flow and try to show you the, uh, output in the UI itself.
ओके वी आर डन विथ आवर रेस्ट ए पी आईज एंड वी आर गेटिंग दी टू जेसन रिस्पॉन्स वन विथ जॉन विथ एज ऑफ एटीन एंड वन इज सैमसंग विथ एज ऑफ फोर्टी टू सो या दैट्स इट दैट्स हाउ वी कम्प्लीटेड क्रिएटिंग ए बेसिक रेस्ट ए पी आई एंटायरली यूजिंग गिट पॉट इन अ रिमोट एनवायरमेंट नथिंग ऑन दी लोकल मशीन सो दिस इज समथिंग विच आई वॉज टॉकिंग इन द बिगनिंग अबाउट दी गिट पॉट डॉट यामल फाइल Uh, so this is the link which you can visit and what are the more customization you can do over the yaml file like you can also run docker and also you can do some pre build so basically reducing the wait time while you are trying to installing the dependencies like node modules or requirement.txt those kind of stuff thank you very much for coming this far i hope you enjoyed watching this video so go and try out gitpod or other cloud development environment